everybody welcome back to my channel my name is marcy thank you for clicking on that thumbnail showing up showing your girl some love well we have a requested video by many a long-awaited video um because i was waiting on one other fragrance to do my coffee video so today we're going to be talking about a lot a lot of coffee y'all um i wanted to do this video kind of like the evening you know i don't have my coffee out here with me but i already had two cups today you know i wanted the ambiance to be a little you know just to be in the mood so go grab your coffee you know um go grab your tea if you don't drink coffee but we're going to be talking about a lot of coffee scents today so um without further ado we're going to get into this coffee scents because i got about 20 y'all I think I have the longest videos on YouTube, right? <laughs> yeah, don't fault me for that, but um, I'm trying to give you, maybe I should have broke it up, but anyway, we're going to get this coffee video out of the way, and then in the end, I'm going to give you my top five um, ones that I will probably always repurchase or my favorites. So, um, first, we're going to get into the very first, oh, follow me on Instagram, it's Marcmello, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W, we have a lot of fun, and then you get to see a lot of things, a lot of the things that I will be previewing before I post it over here on YouTube. Um, so the very first one we're going to get into, um, it's by the House of Penhaligans, and this is called Bewitching Yasmine or Bewitching Jasmine. So um, this is a really pretty fragrance. This took me some time to get used to uh, because there is oud inside as, as well. You know, okay, so in here you have your, who would have thought to mix coffee and oud? Y'all, perfumers come up with everything, right? So uh, you have your cardamom in here. You have your coffee, jasmine sandbag. You have some oud, Tahitian vanilla, and incense. This is a really pretty scent. It is not a beast mode scent. Um, I do layer this scent with Kaali vanilla when I do wear it. I've worn, only worn it a couple times, uh, maybe three or four times since I purchased it. But I've worn it pretty light because initially, the oud is a bit much for me but I'm starting to get used to oudy fragrances and I'm starting to pull more from the cardamom and the coffee um, in this fragrance so um, it's definitely a great one um, I really like it now it's it's a hard like y'all um, so it's not a love and this is Bewitching Yasmin by the House of Penhaligans this was my very first Penhaligans that I did order uh, because I heard it did have the note of cardamom and coffee in it alright moving right along be careful with the top the next one um, is one that I purchased, but I didn't buy the bottle. I did buy the kind of like the little, um, I don't know what you call a refill. Um, and this is Killian's Black Phantom. Um, in Black Phantom, and I absolutely love this fragrance, y'all. I really want another bottle, like the real bottle now, but oh well. I've got, I um, decanted it to um, two small um, travel sprays, and that works just fine because it allows for more space um, in my area. So in Black Phantom, you have uh, chocolate, which I absolutely love. I did feature this in my chocolate video as well. Um, you have rum, caramel, coffee, sugar cane, almond, sandalwood, and heliotrope. Okay, I did spray that on this hand earlier. I've been wearing it for a while. You know, I've worn it for a couple days. Now, in this one, it is not in the opening. You do get a little more coffee. But as it dries down, you get the chocolate. Um, what did I say? Rum, right? Yeah, it's meaty rum. You get the chocolate rum, and this is a true gourmand. So the coffee is very mild in a Black Phantom, and you get more of those decadent, rich, sweet notes in here. But I still, it still adds, um, the coffee adds um, a bit of a zing to this um, gourmand fragrance. It's beautiful, y'all, okay? And this is Black Phantom. I'm so glad I bought this. I was kind of scared of it at first because they said it was beast mode, and it's not, y'all. I absolutely love Black Phantom by the House of Killian. So the next one we're gonna talk about um, is Coffee Break. Now this is my favorite, Mason Margiela. Um, and I have worn this a couple, several, actually more than that, at least five or six times. Um, yeah, I love this one and I love matcha meditation. So I actually mixed them both together and it was so delicious, you guys. So in Coffee Break, um, this is mainly like a coffee, clean, sweet lavender fragrance. Um, it gives you a little bit of soapy note at towards the end in the dry down but it's a stunning fresh coffee scent so on coffee break you have your coffee you have lavender orange blossom patchouli milk vanilla and vetiver the vetiver i think is what adds a little bit of like a soapy freshness to the fragrance but this is a gorgeous fragrance y'all 
every time I get up in the morning, this is really like tonic, it's creamy. Um, it reminds you of sort of like a latte, but with a soapiness to it and the dry down. Um, this, I love this. If I ran out of coffee break, I would definitely purchase this again, y'all. Love it, Mason Margiela coffee break. So another one, we're gonna go to the fruity side of coffee, but it still smells like a tad bit of coffee. Um, this is a Tresor La Nuit. Um, absolutely love this fragrance, y'all. But you get more of a fruity, um, a sweet fruitiness on top of a, a tad bit of a coffee note in the dry down. So in here you have your lychee praline vanilla. You have some incense, pear, tangerine, bergamot, and you have coffee. Um, this is a lifer for me. This is a very sexy fragrance. Um, you can wear this any all seasons long all year long absolutely love this and like i said it's not super coffee heavy but it does add a little bit of a zing a zinginess um uh, a little bit of a bitterness to all of these sweet fruits that are inside it's it's amazing y'all and this is the original okay so next we have one of my favorites which is deluxe um and this is deluxe by the house of tiziana terenzi y'all already know i absolutely love this this is basically coffee rose and vanilla stunning fragrance love 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 deluxe okay in deluxe you have your coffee you have white hyacinth iris turkish rose honey vanilla and amber and i think there's a couple other notes but those are the notes that stand out to me most absolutely love there's a bit of a um, like a, a really bright rosiness in here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a that Delina type rose with the sweetness of the vanilla, you know, and the coffee. Yeah, this is a this is coffee heavy, okay? Um, if you love coffee, you love rose, you love vanilla, and this is super, super smooth. Um, I do love this one more than I love um intense cafe they're pretty much almost the same but this one is a lot smoother it's a lot rosier it's a, the, the rose is slightly more tart the coffee is a little bit strong so i do love this one more than i love intense cafe even though they're pretty much on the same wavelengths so the next one we have um, is a newbie to the bunch, and this is True Sorry. I'm just gonna call her Galleria, okay? Um, we won't pronounce the name today. So um, in here, you have your hazelnut, you have your coffee, cinnamon, you have tuberose, coconut, jasmine, and vanilla. Um, there's a couple other notes in here, but those are the notes that stand out to me more. This is like a really um, creamy sort of powdery um, type coffee fragrance because of the coconut and the tuberose. Like I said once before, this reminds me of like a Killian's Love Don't Be Shy and a Rolling in Love kind of mixed together with a little bit of a coffee hazelnut note. Um, more like a latte, you know, but absolutely love this fragrance. Um, this is the light. If I ran out of this, I would definitely buy this again. Um, and this is a Trusardi Galleria. Beautiful, beautiful hazelnut coffee tuberos and coconut. It's just, it's an, an amazing blend. Hey, doggy. So the next one we have is Set One. Should I wait or should I keep talking? Okay, so anyway, <laughs> you said one. Oh, this is, y'all, this fragrance is divine. I bought this this year. Um, actually, the coffee bean fell off and I just, um, y'all know what I did? I put a, I glued another coffee bean there and then I kind of like painted it like a, with some polish, like a, bronzy color um it i couldn't rest with this little coffee bean missing okay so anyway <laughs> um this fragrance y'all stunning okay i'm i'm so glad that i purchased this fragrance um so and you said one or cowabunga one um you have your turkish rope turkish coffee sorry you have your kiwi melon tobacco tea and mint you get all of that all the smells and it's blended so well but in the opening i get a blast of like um concentrated turkish coffee you get a sweet melon note on top of the minty note you know you get the burst of kiwi the sweetness of the kiwi you know the green rich fruits oh my gosh this is so so good y'all but this is you said i'm not gonna keep talking about this i have a review on this i think as well on my you said uh fragrances go check that review out yeah this is a beautiful beautiful fragrance absolutely love it if i ran out of this i would definitely be purchasing this again um like i said really rich turkish coffee um you get the kiwi the melon the mint and the tea in here as well and they all just collectively blend amazingly together 
So um, the next one is D&G, Dolce & Gabbana. Um, this is the only one. And now this is another one. If you don't, if you want more additives to your coffee fragrances, um, you want more fruit, then you might like this one. So this is D&G, the only one. And you have your violet, you have your orange, mandarin orange. You have some bergamot coffee, caramel, vanilla, rose, and orange blossom. This is a really pretty fragrance as well. You know, I absolutely love this. There's a freshness to this. You definitely get that mandarin orange in here. Um, the coffee you get more in the dry down, but it's a really light coffee scent. Uh, but it's more florals, uh, fruity florals to me with a, a dab of coffee. Uh, but you definitely get that coffee in the dry down. Um, I love this fragrance, you know. Um, that's all I gotta say, stunning bottle, stunning fragrance, really pretty. So um, we're gonna talk about Intense Cafe. So you already know how I feel about Intense Cafe. I love it, but I love, love, love Deluxe, okay? So in Intense Cafe, um, you have your floral notes, um, which they don't list. Um, you have your rose, you have your coffee vanilla, you have your white musk and amber. It smells just like Deluxe. You get um, coffee, um, you get more of a like, um, not more of a, a synthetic rose and not more of a like a really deep red decadent rose is in Deluxe, but this is more of a synthetic smelling rose and coffee but it is a it's a really nice fragrance i do love it you know uh but i would i would reach for Deluxe first uh, but i bought this one first and then i bought Deluxe. that's why i have uh, two different ones y'all um if it makes sense so anyway this is intense cafe so the next one we have, I have a sample of, and this is uh, by the House of Tail Cabanel, and this is Cafe Cabanel, and I've been wearing this to see if I really wanted to purchase it. I absolutely love the bottle. It looks like a cow, like a red and a black print of a cow. Um, and um, this fragrance, y'all, it's, it's nice, you know? It's real spicy, like really, really spicy. I get coffee, but I get more cinnamon and more spice than I do coffee in this fragrance. You know, I get some floral notes, you know, but it's it's not it's not on the sweeter side um, when I think of like a coffee or a coffee latte. This is more of like a spicy, bitter coffee. Um, so in Cafe Cabanel, you have cinnamon on top, you have coffee, mandarin orange, you have milk, butter, uh, rose, caramel, taco, and vanilla. Like I said, I get more of the rose and a dark coffee and a um, a little bit of a vanilla, but I get more cinnamon in this fragrance than anything. This is the, I wore this and I sprayed it like maybe five times on my hand. When I tell you I had to go wash my hand off because it was too much cinnamon, I felt like I was almost ingesting the cinnamon. It was super spicy. So I'm not really sure about this one yet, um, buying a full bottle of it, uh, because it was a little too spicy for me, y'all. And I like spice, okay? I love spice, I love myrrh, I love frankincense, all of that. But that one right there, it, it there wasn't a balance to me in Cafe Cabanel or, tail, yeah, in Cafe Cabanel. Um, it needed to be, it was a little off balance. But anyway, um, next we're gonna go with one of my favorites, and this is by the House of Kerosene, and this is Follow, y'all. Follow is so good. So, now when you want a real coffee fragrance, then you won't follow okay follow is straight up straight up and down coffee so in follow you have coffee beans okay not blended coffee not um served coffee watered down coffee milky coffee you have coffee beans so um you have your coffee beans you have your maple syrup vanilla tonka bean amber and benzoin when i spray this i get all of that i get like a sweet coffee this smells like the coffee you know how your coffee dries down or after you pretty much finish the pot and there's still some um residue or a little bit of coffee left and you leave the pot on and the pot pretty much turns that coffee into like a crunchy sort of burnt type um or dried up coffee but it's still hot um that's what this is giving me it's giving me really dark concentrated almost like a burnt um not a stinky burnt but or, or like a it's like a toasty like almost a toasty coffee and just say you took that hot coffee pot and you poured some milk in it you know how you kind of make gravy i don't know if anybody's ever made gravy from scratch but like just say you poured like some maple um oat milk into that burnt coffee on the end of the pot and you stirred it up and to me 
it's this is spicy too um it says that there is benzoin amber tonka bean all that but i'm getting all spice i kept I, I sat for two days and i sprayed this for two days what is that smell it's not cinnamon it's not nutmeg i got all spice in this fragrance um i got all spice i got coffee and i got maple um and i got tonka bean the vanilla so this is a really pretty fragrance you know but like i said in the opening it's spicy dark like a dark coffee dark burnt coffee um, with some maple syrup and um you get that allspice but the allspice the spiciness dries down into an amazing and a beautiful scent love 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 this fragrance followed by the house of kerosene so next we have Chocolate Greedy. I bet you all didn't know or paid attention that there's coffee in Chocolate Greedy. So in Chocolate Greedy, you have chocolate, vanilla, you have your bitter orange, you have your dried fruits, bourbon, vanilla, and you have some, um, uh, yeah, no, uh, that was wrong. Yeah, and you have your Tonka, sorry, and coffee. So um, this is a really pretty fragrance. Like I said, this just adds, there's a tiny drop of coffee in this fragrance. It probably just, you know, gives it a little more depth you know but um you pretty much get like chocolatey cocoa puffs cereal from this um that's like i said that's been sitting in milk and it became like buttery and sweet and creamy and you know almost like a dark chocolate um it's not really coffee but more like a cereal you know maybe you had like some little watery coffee with your cereal <laughs> yeah <laughs> but that's what this is giving me but there is coffee in here so like i said but there's more chocolate powdery chocolate than anything else but absolutely love this fragrance and this is chocolate greedy so um the next we have is black opium and this is the black opium extreme y'all this is the new one that came out a couple months ago so in black opium extreme um i have three black opiums that we're going to discuss today really fast um black opium extreme you have your coffee cacao jasmine orange blossom uh, bourbon vanilla and patchouli so this pretty much is straight up you know um you get a little bit of fruitiness in here as well which i think is coming from the orange blossom you know but you definitely get chocolate coffee and orange blossom and there's some patchouli in the base y'all there's a little bit of freshness to this as well and maybe that's coming from the orange blossom it's not a heavy jasmine you know i get orange blossom um chocolate cacao i mean i get orange blossom chocolate coffee um this is more like a espresso type coffee it's not heavy though um not as heavy as some of these fragrances that we're gonna be, we're talking about today uh, but you do get a nice coffee chocolate orange blossom patchouli scent in this um i i really really like this fragrance y'all this was my very first black opium um the other black opium that we're gonna discuss is uh, black opium blanche nui this is uh reminds me of a latte type coffee like a really milk milky um a really milky coffee not that espresso or deep dark coffee um so in this you have uh you have some rice you have some anise bourbon uh it says bourbon pepper um coffee caramel milk vanilla peony sandalwood so this is super sweet y'all this is a real this is probably one of the sweetest fragrances i have but it doesn't last long but you do get a freshness you get some floral notes you know you just really get like a milky sweet uh, syrupy coffee um, um, and this fragrance pretty much and like sort of like an orange blossom like a creamy no more of a it is creamy and powdery at the same time but it's super sweet like a milky um, caramel uh, coffee and it says it has a rice note in there um, I'm not really getting the rice note and I do have some fragrances that have the uh, rice note inside like from the house of Floraiku and you really get that brown rice note in there um, I forgot the name of it but they call it something else uh, but I don't get that in here um, so anyway this is uh, it's nice um, it's okay let's say it's okay you know uh, would I be wearing this I don't know I would definitely reach for um, the extreme version more um, so the next one we have is intoxicated, y'all. So I sprayed intoxicated on this hand earlier. You know, I've tested it out back and forth for, for about a week now. 
So intoxicated, um, you definitely have to overspray intoxicated. I think you have to overspray Black Phantom and intoxicated. Intoxicated is very nice for the first two hours. You know, you get a, a nice smooth coffee fragrance. And intoxicated, you have your cardamom, you have your coffee, you have your nutmeg and cinnamon. It's a nice, uh, mild, spicy type fragrance, slightly sweet, um, a little gourmandish leaning, but not. It's not a gourmand like Black Phantom. Um, it's nice. Would I purchase this again? No, because some of these coffee fragrances are heavier on the coffee than intoxicated. So um, uh, it's okay. I, I love it. I don't. It's a hard like. Let's say that intoxicated is a hard like for me. Um, do I see myself reaching for this a lot based on the coffee fragrances that I absolutely love? Most likely not. Um, but it is a very smooth, very well blended, nice cardamom with a little bit of spiciness and coffee and sweetness, y'all. Intoxicated. So the next we have is New York Nights. Absolutely love, love, love this fragrance, New York Nights. Does have an amazing coffee scent in here. Um, you get your, I think there's cardamom in here as well. It seems like um, the note of cardamom blends very well with coffee. So that's what, you know, a lot of people mix when they decide to make a coffee fragrance, you know. So in New York Nights, mainly, I'll give you the notes that I um, really get more from this. You have your uh, gardenia, you have some carnation, you have your caramel, you have your coffee, and you have some vanilla, y'all. So this is a really pretty coffee floral fragrance. I think out of all the fragrances I have here, today I get more, ugh, this is so good, y'all. If I ran out of this, I'm definitely buying um, New York Nights again. This is bond number nine. If I ran out of this, I'm purchasing this again. There's a freshness to this fragrance. There's a fresh floralness, sweetness. You know, it's not too gourmandish, but it's leaning that way. Um, you definitely get that coffee and that caramel and the, the florals in here. The beautiful blend of the soft gardenia in here. It's absolutely amazing. Love this fragrance, y'all. Uh, by number nine, New York Nights. So the next one we have... I already talked about, uh, so black opium. I don't want to talk about this too much, but pretty much this is pear, pink pepper, coffee. This is pretty much a really uh, fruity uh, coffee, really fruity coffee. It's a little bit abrasive and striking in the opening, but once it dries down, it's not, it's a nice fragrance. Um, but am I going to reach for this? Probably not. So that's why I only bought a travel size, you know, and plus I, I have the other two. So this fragrance here um, is called Awake. Um, and this is by, I think it's called, pronounced Acro. Um, so in here, it's pretty basic, y'all. You have your coffee, cardamom, Haitian vetiver. You have some Italian lemon. Now this one right here, y'all, stunning. Absolutely love this fragrance. I read reviews on it. I haven't watched any YouTube reviews, but I read some reviews on Fragrantica about this fragrance. Um, I read reviews on Lucky Scent. I purchased this at Lucky Scent. And um, pretty much great re great reviews across the board. And people are saying this is the best coffee fragrance. I don't know if it's the best coffee fragrance, but it's up there, y'all. So in here, you definitely get coffee all the way through. A really beautiful, clean, fresh blend of coffee. Um, you get your cardamom in here as well. You know, you get the vetiver, but it's not vetiver heavy, and you get your Italian lemon. So the lemon, really, really, um, you get that in the opening of the fragrance and it's really pretty it's a really soft um candy or creamy lemon um i see the doggies are coming out um that's a little dog park behind me y'all i hope he doesn't slam the gate though please don't slam the gate oh finally somebody that didn't slam the gate oh my gosh she must have noticed that i was filming so anyway um so in a oh wait y'all this fragrance is so good. When I tell you this smells like you're sitting in an ice cream shop that serves coffee, um, it's amazing. You're, I, I just really feel like I'm sitting in, like if I'm drinking coffee, like if I had a black coffee and someone comes over and dumps a scoop of vanilla ice cream inside, 
and they like added the cone, not a waffle cone. I was trying to figure out when I wore this. This smells like something. It smells like a cone, but it's not a waffle cone. It smells like, you know how you eat the, the just the white, the regular wafer cone um, from a regular ice cream. It has like that little bit of vanilla, plus it, had that, it has that wafer crunchiness. That's what this is giving me um, in this fragrance. Um, I'm getting just a regular uh, wafer vanilla ice cream cone, not a waffle cone, y'all. Um, so it's really, really pretty. It's delicious. Um, love, 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 love this fragrance. And I'm so glad that I purchased it. When I tell you this last 12 hours, it lasted me 12 hours. Of course, then I took a shower. But um, definitely the longevity is good. The performance is good. The scent is amazing um, and absolutely love it. It's not vetiver heavy. I don't get a lot of vetiver in here, but maybe it just adds to the freshness of the coffee. But this is basically... It, this is beautiful y'all it dries down to a very beautiful there's vanilla in here it, this is heavy on the vanilla absolutely love it it's like a vanilla coffee with a little bit of zest in it um and an ice cream cone y'all love it y'all anyway this is um okay i'm gonna talk stop talking about it. so you already know what's in a part of my like top five right so um and this is acro and this is oh wait acro acra it reminds me of acra ghana um acro and this is awake um yeah this is a lifer fragrance for me a lifer coffee fragrance um definitely would repurchase this if i ran out of this fragrance y'all so that being said um can i get six do i have to get five can i have six please um yeah i need six y'all okay i'll take it six okay so um my top six <laughs> so my top six my very first one my number one coffee fragrance would definitely be juice at one stunning absolutely love it okay my number two would be acro awake this is number two definitely love 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 this fragrance as well uh my number three would definitely be and these are like heavy on the coffee y'all that's why i'm choosing them because the coffee in here is beast uh, my number three would be follow by the house of kerosene absolutely love my number four would be Deluxe, um, Heavy on the Coffee and the Rose by the House of Tiziana Terenzi. Um, my number five would definitely be Coffee Break. Love, love, love Coffee Break. And my number six would be with the coffee and the caramel would be Bond number nine. Um, and this is New York Nights. Absolutely love this. Um, and I thought I, but I had seven, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, the next one would, would be Black Phantom, but I can't get that one. So um, anyway, that is it. So um, out of all of, out of Intoxicated and Black Phantom, I would probably um, definitely choose Black Phantom, even though Intoxicated has a nice coffee scent in the opening. It doesn't last very long on me. Um, and like I said, I usually spray on skin and clothes, but um, I didn't get very much from it. Um, I didn't get the longevity of the coffee from it. So anyway, thank you all for clicking on my, um, hope they don't start fighting. Anyway, have an amazing day. Go on to the world, spread amazing siage. Do good, be good, all of that. And uh, go, yeah, go drink some coffee, y'all. Yeah, Bye-bye.